Hey, hey, we're the Butcher, Butcher Babies, Babies, and you're watching Muse. Hi, this is Mike Sandoval with Muse, and we're here at the Rob Zombie Great American Nightmare with the Butcher Babies. How is everything going? Great. Awesome. We just flew in last night from our Danzig tour and we're super excited to be here. Well, I'm for... tired, by oh, all yeah. means. A little tired. <laughs> a little tired, but we're excited. We've been um, anticipating this night for a long time. So. Oh, oh. Well, so for everybody who doesn't know you, even though everybody in LA what? already who knows know you, us? No, I'm just even though everybody in LA knows you guys, please introduce yourself to our readers. Um, well, we're the Butcher Babies. I'm Carla. I'm Heidi, and, and we're just a metal band. We're two fifths of the Butcher Babies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, you're when I was looking up at your bios and how you guys started and your inspirations. Wendy O was one of your biggest inspir inspirations. Absolutely, the band is you know an ode to Wendy O, mm -hmm. um, the late Wendy o. Williams, of course. You know, with the name Butcher Babies uh, from her single Butcher Baby, mm -hmm. um, and then of course the original attire that we wore you know years ago, and um, we really you know gravitated to what she believed in and what she stood for in the music industry, and uh, we saw a huge lack of that, and uh, you know big fan of her. So he figured, why not? Let's, let's create something that um, will make a stand and make a movement. And what do you think about in, in the heavy in the heavy metal world and the metal rock world? There's really not that many female fronted bands in. Anymore. No, there's not. I mean, uh, you know, metal has always been predominantly male dominated industry, and it's not even as far as as, as the players, but also as the listeners. You know. Metal has never been that popular with women, unfortunately. We loved it growing up, but um, it's just a different kind of genre. And uh, there's a lot more girls nowadays, and um, I think a lot more girls listening as well. I and think it, there was a stigma to it, you know, and, and I feel like that stigma is is diminishing as time goes on, it, where females felt like they weren't supposed to like that. That music is for the men. The music is for the boys. You have to, you know wear big ass jinkos and shit to, <laughs> back when I grew up you know that's what you those are the metal kids and mm -hmm. and it, you know we're here to defy that that um that stigma and that stereotype whereas you know you can look however you want to look you can do whatever you want to do you can be whoever you want to be regardless of what anyone tells you you're supposed to be there's there's nothing that you know there's nothing out in, on our exterior that says that we can't love mm -hmm. the same music that you know, other men and, you know. I mean, to me, metal was always for the outsiders, for, you know, for everybody that thought they didn't fit in, and, and it's it's for everybody, so. Ooh, cool. cool. Uh, well, Goliath just came out this summer. Yeah. Uh, so how's been the re how's the reaction with the fans with the new album? And it was everything? great, and it's been so cool for us to see, um, you know, in the crowds on the Danzig tour and on our off dates, we've been doing headliner tours to see the fans singing all of our songs back to us off the new album. It's, it's, we're so happy that people love it. And, uh, you know, as soon as it came out, it charted right away. We were really surprised. We were on in the middle of Mayhem Festival when um, the first week numbers came in and our manager called us and wanted to know if we wanted to know what the numbers were. And we were all like, no, we don't want to know. We don't want to know. <laughs> and they were awesome. So that it's just been, it's been an incredible ride. Oh. Yeah, just to hear everyone singing these songs that we spent years writing together, you know, and maybe things that we had written as, as teenagers, mm -hmm. you know, a hundred years ago. Um, <laughs> that's, that is such an incredible experience and a, a feeling unlike anything else to know that you are influencing somebody in a positive way and giving them something to latch on to and something to feel a part of. Because I think in metal, that's where it started and that's where we want to keep it. Very cool, very cool. And I found out about you guys at the Mayhem actually press conference, mm -hmm. saw your performance. Mm -hmm. You guys just tore that place up, <laughs> which was just like, for Muse, we had to get you guys on board. It cool. took a little while, but we finally got you on board. But thank you for stopping right. with us. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Butcher Babies, where they're going to be stopping next, please follow whosyourmuse.com. And we'll oh. see you soon. And <laughs> <Enough>. Yeah, <laughs> exactly.